I recently received a cease and desist letter from a multi-level marketing insurance company's attorney after I described my experience dealing with agents who had attempted to get a release agreement signed from that company. It was a video where I shared the pros and cons of working with a multi-level marketing insurance agency. Guys, believe it or not, this is actually the second time that one of these multi-level marketing insurance companies have threatened to sue me over something that I said in a YouTube video. What are they afraid of? Why threaten to sue me when I'm actually a pretty small YouTuber with a relatively small subscriber base? And yes, please leave a comment below. Have you been contracted or known someone who has ever worked under or with one of these multi-level marketing organizations? If so, please share your experience, good and or bad. Once again, in the comments below. I'm Doug Massey, and today I'm gonna give you my opinion on why you should probably, absolutely actually, avoid any insurance agency where one, the leadership pushes a herd mentality on the downline agents or they appear to present cult-like behaviors, and two, any insurance agency manager who suggests that you start recruiting people for your downline before you've got, I want to say, at least one or two years of experience selling the products that your downline agents are going to be selling. And yes, a thumbs up would be great, and we do suggest subscribing if you're a new viewer. We're putting out new insurance sales content and final expense sales training videos like all the time. The more I think about it, the more I realize that I've actually been kind of soft when it comes to talking about these MLM insurance groups. And guys, hey, that's on me. Oh, and before we get into it, if you'd like a copy of my Overcoming Objections Super File, which has some great scripts on overcoming objections in different scenarios, just hang around till the end of the video. I'm going to show you how to get this guy for yourself. There are people out there who've suffered serious hardships. Insurance agents who fell for the lies, the manipulation, the overzealous statements that were made by agency managers and other people who represented themselves as part of these groups. Before I go over these lawsuit threats that I seem to attract, it's important important for you to know what to look for ah, so that you can steer clear of these multi-level marketing, almost cult-like organizations. And just to clarify, no, I, I don't see you know, or believe that these big MLM insurance type of groups are cults. However, in most cases, the cult-like reputation is well-deserved. The first red flag is how they have these tiered commission level charts where they start you at a potentially unethically low first year commission level. You know, anything under 100% for the main product is, to me, it's, it's not cool. And then they reward you by offering to increase your commissions if you sell a certain amount of insurance and or you recruit a certain amount of insurance agents. So they start you at one level and with a certain amount of production, you reach this certain amount of production level. They're, they're gonna move you up to the next level. And then when you produce another Another certain amount, they'll bump your commission up again and, and again and so on and so on. Guys, this is the old carrot on a stick. A concerning issue with some of these companies is that the starting levels are so low that even if you do good, you get off to a great start, you could potentially end up digging yourself deeper and deeper and deeper into debt. Another sign, or in my opinion, a really a huge red flag, is when someone invites you to a meeting and you go there and there's you know a bunch of people talking about how much money can be made by working with them and how their system works great for people who want to build their business and earn potentially millions of dollars by selling insurance and recruiting other people to sell insurance for them. These are common practices with these MLM companies. And guys, the worst part is once you're involved with them and contracted through them, if you decide that you don't want to work with them anymore, I've been told by agent after agent, I mean like, like so many agents, I've seen this over and over that basically getting a release agreement signed, you know, by these people, by by the upline, the owner, is kind of like pulling teeth. I mean, we're talking like almost impossible. Like trying to leave a cult, okay? They don't make it easy, and if you've got all your insurance contract with them and can't get a release, think about it. When you move to another insurance agency, you're pretty much gonna be limited on what you can sell, which inadvertently is gonna make it a lot harder for you to succeed. Some of these companies will flat out tell you that their policy for releasing agents is not to release agents. Others, and let me just say the, the managers, the representatives or upline agent will just lie to you and tell you up front that, yeah, no problem, 
will release you. But then when you ask for them to have the top marketer sign the release, they've got an excuse after excuse, one after another as to why they can't get the release signed. Recently, I had an experience with an agent who had gone through the contracting process with this one agency. The agent saw something or heard something that turned them off on the very first like training. I knew who the guy was, the upline, the manager, you know, that, that the agent contracted with because I've seen his posts on a couple of insurance Facebook groups and I recognized him. And guys, I normally don't get involved with the release process. I let the agent handle that and I basically tell them what to do. And that's, that's the thing. But I would say in this case, I decided, let me reach out to this guy. Let's reach out to this manager and see if he'll show like a little common man to man courtesy and just sign the release. He claimed that he had put time and invested money into the agent. Therefore, he wouldn't release him. He also stated that he didn't appreciate it when agents waste his time and then change their minds. This is why as an agent, you always want to get it in writing that if things don't work out, if you change your mind for whatever reason and decide that for whatever reason you want to leave the organization, that they'll actually release you assuming, now this is important, that there's no outstanding debt or unsecured debt with any of the contracted insurance carriers. So let's talk a little bit about these attorneys who represent the two multi-level marketing insurance companies who've threatened to sue me. Last year, this is crazy, I put out a video where I named the one MLM who goes by three initials and the first initial is an F. You've heard of them, they're huge, and well, we're just gonna leave it at that. All I did in the video was read word for word bits and pieces of the lawsuit out loud. This company was being sued and is always actually being sued by multiple insurance agents who claim that they were sold leads that were misleading and or resold. And honestly, I think the main thing was that the agents also didn't like the idea of the leads being resold to other agents, even though, you know, had they do, done their due diligence, they would have known that up front. The said agents were also so claiming that they were told multiple times that they'd be able to get a release signed. Hey, we release everybody, it's not a problem. But when they tried to make that happen, the company wanted them to sign some type of non-disclosure and or non-compete. This is crazy, which basically would have allowed the multi-level marketing agency, the, the, the top marketer, to steal the downline agents, the basically to take their agency from them. Okay, look, 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 I kind of get it. If I owned a company, whether it was like a cult-like MLM or a legitimate insurance agency, and I spent my time helping these guys build their own agency with a bunch of downline agents and taught them how to recruit, help them. Look, I even put together like these brainwashing events designed to help recruit more agents. I probably would be pretty pissed off if they asked asked me to release them and their agents too. Instead of the agents being part of my downline group, they're literally gonna end up competing against me, right? That's kind of not cool. So again, I get it. However, in this situation, on the video, all I did was talk about and read parts of the lawsuit. And this attorney reaches out to me with a cease and desist order, basically threatening to sue the pants off me. Now, the more recent lawsuit threat was because of several things that the attorney representing the company didn't like, but it seemed that I would say the main thing was how I said that they don't like to release agents. Look guys, everything I said in that video was, was true. This guy stated something to the effect that I had no personal experience with this company directly, which is true. I never contracted with them. Therefore, I never went through the hell of having to get a release signed with them personally. But what I shared in the video was that I have dealt with multiple agents over the years, over and over and over, who've had attempted to get releases from this specific company and other companies, just like the one he was represented, and how the agents were unsuccessful at getting the release agreement signed. Basically, the attitude was, hey, if you're not gonna be with us, you're against us, we'd rather have you living under a bridge, starving before you're able to feed your family. And the other thing that he had issue with was the way that I used their logo in the video thumbnail and throughout the video. And I'm pretty sure that he didn't like me grouping his client, you know, that MLM, with the other MLMs. They're all named in the video, so I get that. Bottom line, 
point, guys. Do your due diligence. Research the agency owner and agency upline that you are considering working under. Whoever's recruiting you, whoever's gonna sign you up, you need to do the work on them. Find out about them. Do they have Google reviews? Trust me, no reviews are worse than bad reviews. That's a huge red flag right there. Do they have testimonial videos from other agents, multiple agents who are currently working with them or have at least worked with them in the past? Again, if not, that's just not a good sign. If you'd like a copy of the Overcoming Objections super file that I mentioned earlier in the video, just email me at doug at ufesonline.com for more information on working with us on our remote final expense sales platform. Just shoot me an email at that same address. As always, and unfortunately, something that I seriously doubt that these cult-like agency managers would understand, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. Now get out there and whatever happens, make sure that you do something good for someone today. Happy hunting.